Have you ever imagined that something as common and humble as an onion could hold the key to reversing the harm wished upon you? It might sound unbelievable, but ancient traditions have long believed in the onion's mystical ability to absorb and redirect energy. Get ready to discover a powerful, time-honored secret that could change your life and shield you from the negativity you never even knew was affecting you. In this video, we'll reveal not only how this simple yet incredibly potent trick can help you ward off negative energies, but also how it can return ill will back to its source, providing you with both protection and empowerment. You may be wondering, can something this ordinary really have such an extraordinary effect? Does it sound too good to be true? Stay with us and see how this ancient practice, used by countless cultures throughout history, could be exactly what you need to regain control over your energy, bring peace into your life, and repel the forces working against you. Prepare to unlock a secret so simple yet profound, it will forever change the way you view this kitchen staple. Keep watching to learn the full process and the transformative power behind this ancient ritual. Imagine if you could neutralize envy and the evil eye with just a simple cut. This onion ritual has been used for generations to protect against invisible enemies. We're going to show you how to do it practically and effectively. You won't believe the impact this practice can have on your life. In this video, you'll not only learn how to cut the onion correctly, but also understand the symbolic power behind this ritual. By the end, you'll have a powerful tool at your disposal to protect yourself and change the energy around you in a simple and accessible way. Get ready for something truly transformative. If you're serious about protecting yourself and eliminating negative influences from your life, take a moment right now to give this video a thumbs up and join the community of like-minded individuals seeking positivity and protection. In the comments below, Share which affirmation resonates most with you. All the harm wished upon me returns twofold, or I believe in the power of the onion to ward off evil. Let us know which statement empowers you more. Your choice might just inspire someone else to reclaim their energy and find peace. We can't wait to see which one you choose. In Buddhism, there is a profound teaching about the law of karma, a concept that touches every aspect of our lives. The idea is simple but powerful. Everything we do, whether good or bad, will eventually find its way back to us. This isn't just a Buddhist belief. Many cultures around the world share the understanding that the energy you put out into the universe will, sooner or later, return to you in some form. From this perspective... The ritual we're about to explore is not about revenge or harm, but about creating balance. It is a way of naturally redirecting the energies that have been sent your way, whether positive or negative, back to their source. The use of the onion in this ritual holds deep symbolism. Across various ancient cultures, the onion has been revered as a potent tool for protection and purification. Its layered structure is thought to represent layers of energy, and its strong, pungent properties are believed to ward off ill intentions. In spiritual practices, the onion is seen as a kind of sponge capable of absorbing energies from its surroundings. By harnessing the onion's natural ability to attract and hold energy, this ritual ensures that what was sent to you, whether it was kindness or negativity, is returned to its rightful origin. The process is one of neutralizing harm and amplifying good, restoring harmony in a way that aligns with the universal law of karma. This ritual, then, isn't about causing harm, but about balancing the energies that surround you. If someone wishes you well, this positive energy will be amplified and returned to that person. Similarly, if someone sends you negative energies, that negativity will be returned to them without any interference on your part, simply through the symbolic power of the onion. It's important to understand that the onion acts here as an energetic mirror. It reflects back what was sent to you. If a friend, family member, or anyone close wishes you well, that energy will be reciprocated, strengthening the positive bond between you. This is a ritual of energetic reciprocity. It's not about attacking or harming, but about returning what was emitted, 
respecting the nature of the intentions behind the actions. This ritual is especially useful for those who feel they are being targeted by envy, the evil eye, or any form of negativity. Often, these energies can be subtle, but at the same time extremely disturbing. The onion ritual is a way to protect yourself without directly interfering in anyone's life. The onion acts on its own, capturing and returning what was sent, and this includes good energies as well, which is an important distinction to highlight. If someone wishes you success, happiness, and health, this ritual will amplify these good vibes and return them to those people with even more strength. For those who worry about the ethical or spiritual implications of this type of practice, it's crucial to reiterate that there's no intention to cause harm. The onion, when cut and used in this ritual, simply plays the role of a mediator. It absorbs and returns without modifying or distorting the original nature of the energy. Therefore, if someone wishes you well, that person will receive even more of that positive energy. However, if the intention is negative, it's important to remember that this negativity was generated by the person themselves and is merely being returned according to the principle of cause and effect. Another relevant issue is the intention behind the person performing the ritual. For the process to work correctly, it's essential that you are in a state of neutrality and peace. You shouldn't perform the ritual with feelings of revenge or anger. The idea here is not to feed a cycle of negativity, but to allow the energies to follow their natural course of return. By maintaining a serene and balanced attitude, you ensure that the ritual is effective and that the energies are directed back with the same force with which they were sent. Additionally, the onion ritual can also be a way to cleanse the environment. Often, the negative energies that surround us don't just come from other people, but also from situations, thoughts, and feelings accumulated over time. By performing this ritual, you will promote a deep cleanse both in your personal life and in the space where you reside. This can result in a renewed sense of lightness and clarity, opening the way for new opportunities and healthy relationships. Finally. It's worth highlighting that this ritual, in addition to protecting, can also strengthen the positive relationships in your life. By returning good energies to those who wish you well, you create a virtuous cycle of reciprocity. This can not only improve your own life, but also strengthen the network of support and love that surrounds you. It's precisely this balance between protecting yourself from harm and nurturing the good that makes the onion ritual such a powerful and transformative practice. Before we dive into the specific details of how to prepare and choose the onion for this ritual, I need to emphasize the importance of staying until the end of this video. This is not just any ordinary practice. It's a very powerful ritual that can significantly impact your energetic well-being. Every piece of information I'm going to share is essential for you to perform it correctly and effectively. Don't underestimate the simplicity of this process. Each detail from selecting the right onion to the precise moment of the cut, plays a crucial role in the ritual success. The onion is not merely a vegetable in this context. It serves as a potent tool for energy absorption and transformation. Understanding the right type of onion, how to connect with its energy, and the intention you set during the ritual can dramatically alter the outcome. So, make sure you're fully present, take notes if you need to, and absorb every detail. By doing so, you'll maximize the benefits of this ritual and empower yourself to ward off negative energies effectively. Trust me, you won't want to miss any part of this transformative experience. The first thing you need to understand is that the choice of onion cannot be made haphazardly. The onion you will use in this ritual must be chosen with great care. It's essential that it's a fresh onion of good quality, without spots or deteriorated parts. The integrity of the onion symbolizes the purity of the energy you wish to channel and return. The onion should be large enough to absorb and reflect the energies, but also manageable so that you can cut it easily and precisely. Moreover, the environment where you choose and prepare the onion is equally important. It's essential to find a calm, serene place where you can fully concentrate and be at peace with yourself. This ritual demands mindfulness and intention, so it's not something to be done hastily or in a chaotic setting. 
The energy you invest in the preparation of the onion will resonate throughout the entire ritual and significantly influence its outcome. To create the right atmosphere, consider dimming the lights or using candles to enhance the mood. You might also play soft, meditative music or nature sounds to help you relax and focus. Set aside distractions. Put your phone on silent, turn off the TV, and let others know that you need some uninterrupted time. This dedicated space allows you to immerse yourself in the ritual fully and connect with its deeper meaning. Think of this moment as a sacred practice. The energy you cultivate during the preparation will be reflected in the efficacy of the ritual. By treating this process with the utmost seriousness and reverence, you amplify its power, allowing you to engage more profoundly with the intention behind the onion ritual. Take your time. Breathe deeply and let your thoughts align with the protective energies you wish to manifest. This focus will create a powerful foundation for the work you're about to undertake. When holding the onion, take a moment to reflect on the energies you feel have been directed at you. Think about the people around you, the situations you faced recently, and sense which of these energies need to be returned. At this point, you define the ritual's intention. If someone has sent you good energies, Think about that with gratitude and visualize the onion returning those positive vibes to that person. On the other hand, if you feel you've been the target of envy, jealousy, or the evil eye, visualize these energies being absorbed by the onion, ready to be reflected back. Now that you have the right onion in hand and are in the ideal environment, it's time to prepare mentally. Before cutting the onion, take a deep breath and release any tension or negativity you might be feeling. Remember, this is not a ritual to be performed with anger or fear, but with clarity and purpose. By focusing on the concept of returning what was given, nothing more, nothing less, you're tapping into a fundamental principle that can significantly enhance the effectiveness of the ritual. This balance is not merely a guideline. It is the key to ensuring that energies are redistributed fairly and harmoniously. When you perform this ritual with this mindset, you allow the natural flow of energy to restore equilibrium in your life. Additionally, keep in mind that this ritual serves a dual purpose. It not only offers protection against negative influences, but also has the potential to amplify the positive energies that have been directed toward you. This amplification is a beautiful reminder of the supportive connections in your life, and it allows you to receive even more blessings and love from those who genuinely care for you. Given this immense power, it's crucial to approach the ritual with awareness and responsibility. Be conscious of your intentions and make sure they align with the promotion of good and positivity. Each action you take during the ritual should reflect a commitment to maintaining this balance. When you harness this energy with respect and clarity, you become a conduit for transformative forces, channeling both protection and abundance into your life and the lives of those around you. Now that you're prepared and understand the importance of every detail, we're ready to move on to the next stage, the cutting ritual where the real magic happens. This is a simple but extremely powerful process. The goal is to divide the onion into four pieces, each with a specific purpose to ensure that the energies are redirected appropriately. First, place the onion on a clean, peaceful surface where you can work calmly and with full concentration. This setting is crucial as it allows you to connect deeply with the ritual and the energies involved. Take your knife and, with deliberate focus, cut the onion in half from top to bottom. Each slice you make should be accompanied by a clear intention, reminding yourself that you are dividing the energies that surround you and preparing to return what was sent your way. Once you have cut the onion in half, proceed to cut each half again, resulting in four equal pieces. These four segments will serve as the vessels for the energies you are working with. As you make each cut, visualize the layers of negativity being separated from your energy field, creating a space for balance and harmony. Now that you have your four pieces of onion ready, it's time to work with each of them individually. Take a moment to hold each piece in your hand, allowing yourself to connect with its energy. With each piece, set your intention clearly. One for protection, one for the return of negativity, 
one for amplifying the positive energies around you, and the last one as a symbol of gratitude for the support you receive. By engaging with each piece mindfully, you enhance the effectiveness of the ritual and create a powerful space for energetic cleansing and transformation. Take two of these pieces and store them in a special place, preferably near a photo of yourself or an object that holds personal significance for you. By doing this, you are strengthening the connection between your energy and these pieces of onion, ensuring that the protection is even more effective. These pieces represent the part of you that is being protected and strengthened. The other two pieces of onion have a different destination. You will dispose of them in nature, such as under a tree in a garden or on a plant. By doing this, you are releasing the energies that don't belong to you, allowing nature to redirect them back to their sender. This act of return is powerful because a negative or positive energy that was sent to you will be returned to its sender in a fair and balanced way. As you bury these two pieces in nature, imagine the energy they carry being released and spread. If it was positive energy, it will be returned to the person with even more strength, like a blessing. If it was negative energy, nature will take care of returning it to its sender. This division into two parts, one close to you and one in nature, ensures that your energy is protected and that any harm is effectively neutralized. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how you can enhance this ritual and ensure that it works even more effectively. I'll share extra details and tips that will strengthen your protection and amplify the ritual's effects. After performing the onion cutting ritual and recognizing the signs that signify an urgent need for this practice, it's crucial to ensure that your protection is complete and enduring. The final phase of the ritual is essential for sealing the energies and ensuring that you are genuinely shielded from any negative influences that may attempt to return. Now that you've divided the onion into four parts, store two pieces near a photo of yourself or a personal object, and dispose of the other two in nature. The next step is to focus on reinforcing this protective barrier. A powerful way to achieve this is through visualization. Take a few moments to find a comfortable position, close your eyes, and begin to breathe deeply. As you inhale, envision a bright, protective light enveloping you. Picture this light as a radiant shield, shimmering and pulsating with energy. It forms an impenetrable barrier around you, reflecting and dispersing any negative energy that might still try to approach. As you visualize this shield, imagine it expanding with each breath, growing stronger and more vibrant. Allow this protective light to fill your entire being, enveloping you in a cocoon of safety and warmth. This visualization not only fortifies your protection, but also reinforces the intentions you set at the beginning of the ritual. With each passing moment, feel a deep sense of security wash over you, knowing that you are shielded from negativity and harm. Affirm to yourself that you are safe, you are protected, and you are aligned with positive energies. This practice of visualization not only enhances the effectiveness of the ritual, but also empowers you to maintain a high vibrational state, ensuring that you remain resilient against any potential challenges that come your way. When you feel ready, take a few deep breaths and slowly open your eyes, carrying this sense of protection and empowerment with you into your daily life. In addition to visualization, it's important to take care of the space where you store the onion pieces. Make sure this place remains clean and organized, avoiding disordered energies from interfering with the protection you've created. If possible, light a white candle or incense in this environment, as this helps purify the space and keep positive energy flowing. Remember, physical cleanliness of the environment contributes to energetic cleanliness. While the two pieces of onion you dispose of in nature fulfill their role of returning energies to their point of origin, continue maintaining positive thoughts and attitudes. The energy you emit is also part of the process. If you continue to attract good vibes, this will further strengthen your protection and increase the return of positive energies to you and those around you. It's also important to review your connections with the people around you. 
This ritual is not just about protecting yourself, but also about evaluating who you allow into your energy circle. Consider how you feel after interactions with certain people, and if necessary, take steps to limit contact with those who might be sending negative energies, even if unintentionally. Moreover, to ensure that the protection created by the ritual is long-lasting, you can repeat this process periodically, especially during times of stress or when you notice signs of negative energies returning. Repeating the ritual during each full moon can be an effective way to keep your energy clean and protected over time. Finally, remember to give thanks. Gratitude is a powerful energy that amplifies the good you wish to attract into your life. Thank nature for receiving and returning the energies. Thank the onion for being the channel of protection. And thank yourself for taking steps to care for your energy. This final act of gratitude will seal the ritual with a positive vibration, ensuring that your protection is complete and effective. Now, I will give you the signs that you are under the evil eye or that your enemies are wishing you harm. If you have any of the symptoms I will mention in the next few minutes, you must urgently perform the onion ritual. It's crucial to recognize the signs that you really need this process of protection and energy return. Sometimes, life presents us with situations where we feel constantly tired, even without having done much physical effort. This persistent fatigue, which seems to have no logical explanation, may indicate that you are carrying more than just the weight of your daily routine. It could be that you're absorbing negative energies that others are directing at you. Besides this inexplainable fatigue, you might be dealing with body aches that appear out of nowhere. Back pain, shoulder pain, or headaches that don't seem to have an apparent physical cause could be signs that your body is reacting to the negativity around you. These pains are like alerts from your body, indicating that something is not right energetically. It's as if these bad energies are accumulating in you, creating tensions and discomforts that can intensify if not addressed. You may also notice that your mind is overwhelmed with intrusive and negative thoughts that appear out of nowhere and refuse to go away. These thoughts are often a reflection of the energies you are absorbing from the environment and the people around you. They can make you anxious, worried, and cause you to lose focus and inner peace. When your mind is constantly invaded by these thoughts, it's difficult to find tranquility and well-being. This can be a clear sign that you need to cleanse these negative energies. Another common sign is a growing sense of irritability. Things that normally wouldn't bother you start to irritate you disproportionately. Small problems seem like big challenges, and the patience you usually have with others quickly runs out. This irritability is a reaction to the negative energies accumulating around you, interfering with your ability to handle everyday situations calmly and in balance. Additionally, you may feel a lack of motivation that you can't explain. Tasks that were once easy and enjoyable now seem heavy and tiring. You may feel like you're stuck in a cycle of procrastination where nothing seems worth the effort. This discouragement can be the result of negative energies draining your vitality, making it difficult for you to move forward and pursue your goals with enthusiasm and determination. If you identify with any of these signs, it's a warning that you urgently need to perform this protection ritual. These negative energies not only interfere with your physical and mental well-being, but can also affect your relationships and your ability to achieve your goals. The onion cutting ritual might be exactly what you need to cleanse these negative energies and restore balance and peace in your life. To ensure that the ritual is even more effective, here's a special tip. Perform it during the night of a full moon. The full moon is a powerful time, known for amplifying energies and intensifying the results of rituals. By performing the ritual during this period, you will be taking full advantage of the cosmic energies available, enhancing the cleansing and returning of energies to their point of origin. This detail can make all the difference in the results you'll experience, 
ensuring that negative energies are neutralized and that you're protected against unwanted influences. Therefore, don't underestimate the importance of paying attention to these signs and acting quickly. Performing the onion cutting ritual during the full moon can be a unique opportunity to cleanse your energy field, strengthen your protection, and restore peace and harmony to your life. Stay with me, because in the next part, we'll explore even more tips and details to ensure you're fully protected and in balance. When we talk about energy, we're dealing with a force that transcends the physical. Your energy reflects who you are inside, what you think, feel, and believe. The universe, God, or however you prefer to call it, is incredibly powerful and acts in ways we often don't fully understand. It's always in motion, responding to the vibrations we emit and the ones we receive. Therefore, it's essential that you protect your energy, keep it clean, and align it with the best intentions, especially in a world where not everyone around you shares the same balance and peace. When someone sends you negative energies, whether out of envy, jealousy, or pure ill will, the natural tendency is to feel that burden and often reciprocate with similar feelings. However, it's crucial to understand that nurturing these negative feelings only perpetuates the cycle of malice and pain. If someone wishes you harm, you have the power to break this cycle instead of feeding it by choosing to forgive and release these negative energies. You not only protect yourself but also strengthen your energy, keeping it positive and healthy. Forgiving doesn't mean accepting or justifying the harm done to you, but freeing yourself from the weight these energies bring. People who emit envy or hatred are often trapped in their own frustrations and insecurities. They operate in a state of low energy, trying to pull others to the same level. Understanding this can help you protect your energy and not take these attacks personally. These individuals are dealing with their own internal battles, and the best way to protect yourself is by keeping your energy high and untouched. One of the most powerful ways to protect your energy is by focusing on what truly matters to you, your family, friends, and the people who love and support you. These are the connections that strengthen and energize you. When you focus on the love and positivity these people bring into your life, you create a natural shield against any negative energy that might try to reach you. Love is the highest frequency, and the more you cultivate it, the more protected you will be. In addition to maintaining strong connections, it's essential to take care of yourself emotionally and spiritually. Take time to meditate, pray, or simply reflect on what matters most to you. Being at peace with yourself is a first step to being at peace with the world around you. When you're in tune with your own energy, it's easier to recognize when something is off and take necessary steps to protect your mental and emotional health. Remember, you have the power to be a beacon of light for others. Be a friend, a counselor, someone people can turn to for support and guidance. This doesn't mean carrying other people's problems, but offering a positive perspective that can help them elevate their own energy. When you help others find the light in their lives, that light reflects on you, making your own energy even stronger. Always keep in mind that the harm sent to you cannot affect you unless you allow it to. This doesn't mean ignoring or denying the existence of harm, but not letting it take over your life or heart. The choice to nurture or reject these energies is yours. By choosing forgiveness, love, and peace, you ensure that your life remains balanced. Life is too short and precious to spend nurturing grudges or being affected by others' low energies. Invest your time and energy in what brings you joy, in the people who love you, and in the dreams you wish to achieve. Let the universe take care of returning to each person what they emit. When you choose to be a source of light, nothing can extinguish you. Finally, never underestimate the power of gratitude. Be thankful every day for what you have, for the good people in your life, and even for the lessons learned from difficulties. Gratitude is a transformative force that elevates your vibration and attracts more good things into your life. By focusing on the positive, you strengthen your energy, 
Create a protective field around yourself and become immune to others' attempts to bring you down. So remember, the harm sent to you is no power unless you give it that power. Choose to forgive, release negative energies, and focus on love, peace, and gratitude. By doing so, you not only protect yourself, but also become an example of light to those around you. When you perform the onion ritual, it's essential that you channel all your energies consciously and in balance. This ritual is not just about returning bad energies. It's also an opportunity to return the good things that those who love you wish for you. The ritual is a way to redistribute energies fairly and harmoniously. As you prepare for the ritual, focus on the energies you wish to return. If you feel it's necessary to return all the bad energy that was sent to you, do so without hesitation. Remember, you are not doing anything wrong. In fact, you're allowing the energies to return to their origin where they belong. The negativity directed at you doesn't need to stay trapped in your energy field. It needs to be released. The ritual provides a safe and balanced way for that to happen. However, while you return the negative energies, don't forget that the ritual is also an opportunity to amplify and return the good things that were wished for you. Think of the people who love and support you. Visualize their good vibrations as you perform the ritual and allow them to return with even more intensity. By doing this, you're not only strengthening these positive bonds, but also helping to create a cycle of positive energies that benefit both you and those around you. It's important not to focus solely on returning the negative energy. Dwelling too much on negativity can trap you in a cycle of unwanted energies, even if unintentionally. Balance your intentions, and as you return negative energies, make sure to also amplify and nurture the positive ones that enrich your life. Do so with the clarity that you are cleansing your energy field without being consumed by it. Use the ritual as a tool to release negative energies, but also focus on returning and nurturing the good energies, allowing them to flourish. During the ritual, visualize each piece of the onion carrying the energies you wish to return. When you store a piece near a photo or personal object, imagine it strengthening your own energy and creating a protective shield around you. As you dispose of the other pieces in nature, visualize the release of negative energies and let nature return those vibrations to their sender. Simultaneously, visualize the amplification of positive energies as an act of gratitude toward those who wish you well. At the end of the ritual, feel relieved, knowing you've taken the necessary steps to maintain balance. But remember... Life is not solely about protection from harm. It's about growth, love, creation, and living fully. Use the ritual to cleanse and protect your energy, but continue to focus on what brings you happiness and fulfillment. The energy you invest in your dreams, relationships, and passions is what truly makes your life shine. Finally, remember that the ritual is a tool for balance, helping you redistribute the energies you receive but it should not be the center of your life. Return what needs to be returned, whether good or bad, and then move forward, living with lightness and joy. The true power lies in staying focused on positivity, love, gratitude, and all the good things the universe has to offer. When you do this, any negativity that comes your way loses its strength, and your life is filled with light and prosperity. I sincerely hope these guidelines and reflections have provided you with the insight and tools to protect and channel your energy in a positive way. Remember, the power to maintain balance and positivity in your life lies in your hands. If this content has resonated with you or brought value to your journey, don't forget to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the notification bell so you never miss an update on future content. More importantly, we encourage you to share this video with those who might be in need of guidance, protection, or energetic support. Together, we can create a community that uplifts and empowers one another. Your participation plays a crucial role in helping us continue to create content that truly makes a difference. Thank you so much for watching.
for being here and for taking the time to nurture and protect your energy. Until next time, stay safe, stay balanced, and keep your energy shining bright.